Welcome to the DATP reservation portion of this course. Up until now, we've been using a wireless G router. From this point forward, we'll be using a dual band wireless N router in order to familiarize ourselves with some of the features of wireless N as we go along. The biggest thing you need to know about wireless N is it's much faster and travels much farther. Instead of 54 megabits per second, like you get with wireless G, you can get up to 300 megabits per second with wireless N. Wireless N also has about twice the range of wireless G. However, you need to be careful. If you use wireless N on the 5 megahertz frequency band, you may lose some range because the 5 megahertz frequency band does not travel through obstacles as easy as the 2.4 megahertz frequency band. The theory behind a dual band router is to provide us with two separate wireless networks and two separate SSIDs. One on the 2.4 MHz frequency band and another on the 5 MHz frequency band. This allows us to keep our surfing and data transfer sessions from interfering with our gaming and streaming video sessions. While a router like this can cost considerably more than just a plain ordinary wireless N or wireless G router, the advantages will soon make themselves obvious if you live in a household where there are a lot of different people doing a lot of different things on the wireless network simultaneously. Now one of the things you'll notice about wireless N, and in this case that's the 5 gigahertz frequency band, is it has different channels than wireless G, which just has channels 1 through 11. On the 2.4 gigahertz frequency side, this particular router gives us the option of choosing auto which allows the router to automatically search for the least used wireless channel in the area. This takes away a lot of the headache of worrying about interference from other wireless networks. On the 5 GHz frequency side, there is no auto option, but in most cases you should not run into a lot of interference from other networks on the 5 GHz frequency. It also provides a little checkbox which allows us to optimize the 5 GHz side for video.